Today, I have a pantry tour for you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, my name's Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. This may not look like my kitchen, but that is my pantry. Uh, so technically we're in my kitchen. It's kind of like the dining area of my kitchen. Uh, it has been requested to do a uh, pantry and freezer tour. So today we are going to be doing a pantry tour. Um, so that is why the camera is a little shaky because um, I am using like a selfie stick, <laughs> which I don't use very often. And my cat is right there playing with the cord for the lighting. So this video is definitely going to be a little bit different than normal. Uh, but anyway, so there's my pantry. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what's in there. Um, a, a quick warning. Um, if you are on uh, bright line eating and you are triggered by not my food and mf there is not my food in there so fair warning um, i do have kids and a husband who uh, are not on bright line eating um, there is also some non-vegan food in there there's like one one item that's not vegan in there so fair warning um, but i'm going to open this up and show you what's in there okay so here we go here's my pantry and i'll give you like an overall and it is messy <laughs> so i'll give you kind of an overview so there's the top shelf these two well i guess actually these three are the shelves that i use most often and then we kind of have like a a catch-all down there so i'll i'll just go kind of top down so um, up here i have got um, this is the milk that I use. Um, it's just soybean and water. So I use this to make uh, my oatmeal in the morning, my yogurt, my sour cream, um, uh, cream cheese, if I ever use cream cheese. So this is what I use. And then I've got a bunch of those. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of those. And then I've got some um, Ezekiel cereal in there. My husband has opened that. I have a really old box of Bisquick. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, I need to actually throw it out. It's from my sister-in-law. Um, O's for the kids. And we have a thing of oats back there. I just need to add it to, I have a big bag of uh, oats down, down below that I just need to add that to. What else? This is a, <laughs> this is a big box of not my food that my um, husband's grandma sends. Um, that she bakes and so I have my husband just leave it in this box and set it up here and I just don't look at it at all <laughs> um, So that is what that is and then these are just vitamins um, And medicine for the dog right there um, So just daily vitamins and things like that uh, This is baking stuff that um, if I do have to bake not my food um, I have that up there um, and so there's actually two two bins of that <laughs> um this, this my husband loves these they're like crispy jalapenos that he uses he puts them in like burritos and stuff uh yeast for i make my daughters um their sandwich bread i don't buy it in the store i make it we have a bread maker and so i make a couple loaves a week for them for their they've been having toast for breakfast instead of oatmeal lately so um i've been making them toast and then their um, pita butter and jelly sandwiches in the morning. So I have um, a new thing of yeast that I gotta open and put away. Uh, that is a big bag of, or a big jar of uh, sugar-free uh, peanut butter powder, <laughs> Naked PB that I got on um, Amazon. I can put a link to that if you're looking for a sugar-free one. Uh, here is white flour that I really don't use a whole lot of white flour. Um, but I do have it. And this is vital wheat gluten that we use for making either um, like seitan sausages or um, I also use that in making my girls um, sandwich bread. And then I've got, I've got another one. Oh, this is some more vital wheat gluten right there. Um, meat egg, I've used that in a previous video. I can't remember which video. Um, but anyway, so I've got that. Um, what else? I have like a bunch of random stuff. This is um, wheat flour, like whole wheat flour um, that I use for bread baking. Um, 
we have just like cake mix that we use for making um, like dump cakes. So uh, over the summer, my niece came to visit and it was, it was her birthday. So we were doing uh, dump cakes and it was my husband's birthday too. So we were doing dump cakes. I did like a um, an orange cream soda cake and what else did we do? Like a strawberry cake and um, we did all kinds of stuff. And there's some, some chips for my husband. Um, I just keep them up there. Don't look at them. <laughs> um, this, oh, what is this? I think this is for making jam, um, which I don't do very often anymore. Yeah, this is, and then this is a bunch of Vita Wheat gluten for making sausages and stuff. Um, random baking stuff. I think there's like almond flour in there. Um, this is interesting stuff. This is, um, this is, um, this is like soy, oh gosh, what is it called? Uh, soybean, it's like tofu sheets. This is the skin that forms on the top of, um, of soy milk. And then you can use it. I made this, I, um, I used this when I was making, um, Miyoko's un turkey and it was really good. Um, and then I just saw somebody use this to make noodles. I think they were using the fresh version though. Um, anyway, so I have a bunch of these, um, that I can like experiment with. It's, it's basically just like soy, soybean. Um, so I have that. That's interesting. And then, uh, cornmeal. So cornmeal is BLE friendly. Yay. Um, oh, and these are interesting. These here, let's see if I can get a shot of it. These are, um, if you're ever shipping bottles of wine anywhere, if they happen to break, these soak up an entire bottle of wine. So, um, I forget what I was, I was like moving or something. And I had some like g gift bottles of wine that I didn't want to like give away. I was like moving to Hawaii. And so I wanted to take them with me. Uh, and so I bought these bags on Amazon, uh, anyways, and then I moved back to Washington. So we used them again. Um, anyways, so down here we've got, um, these are for my daughter's lunch. They're like, um, freeze dried strawberries. And then these are also for my daughter's lunch. These are, um, these are actually really good. So if you have a kid and they, they want like a treat, these are really good. These are scout brand. Um, so these are just little, little like treat bars for her. Um, some, these were like the bane of my existence. Like I could eat a whole pack of these. Um, and now they can just be in the house and they don't bother me. And they just put them back there. Um, oh, don't fall. <laughs> and then there's just like a, there's a pot back there that I don't use. Uh, nori sheets for when we make sushi. Uh, oh, here's some roasted edamame. If I ever need like a go-to um, on the go protein for bright line eating, uh, raisins for my daughter. Here's that non vegan for my husband. <laughs> uh, he works on boats. He, um, he, uh, is a boat captain. And so he will sometimes need something to just like quick eat. And so he, he he's got that. Uh, he also has these. So these are just like, uh, grains and beans bowls. Uh, what else? This is from the, there's like almonds, these jars that like have all kinds of stuff in them. So this is new, like nutritional yeast, um, one of those walnuts, uh, back there that is, um, cocoa butter for like baking and stuff when I used to bake, <laughs> which I don't really do much anymore. Uh, popcorn for my daughter, uh, prunes for my daughter. She likes dried fruit. Also apricots for my daughter. Um, sauerkraut, which I'm going to start making my own actually, because I want the, the probiotics. This stuff does not have any probiotic. Oh, that is, that is not good anymore. Do you hear that? It's open. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, that should sound like this. Just FYI, if anybody is ever wondering, it should not, that is not a sealed jar. So if you ever have a jar that makes that noise, um, it's not sealed. So just be aware, don't get food poisoning. Um, my husband likes to keep <laughs> packets of um, sauce <laughs> for just like random, like he'll just put them on random food. 
Um, we use this brand of marinara sauce. I use it when I make my daughter's um, pizza. We use it on um, our spaghetti squash. I use it on my um, my bean noodles. Um, we use it a lot. So we have a couple of of that. Um, this, this has been in here a while. I kind of need to throw it away. I don't really like it. <laughs> it's like this pineapple um, salsa that I got from the dollar store. Um, we usually always have some coconut milk on hand, uh, some enchilada sauce, uh, pumpkin. Um, I'm actually making right now the, uh, white bean and pumpkin stew from the, um, BLE cookbook, uh, cause it's very cold here today and I want, um, something warm and some more sauerkraut. This one is safe to eat. <laughs> it's not making that noise. Uh, pinto beans. I do um, some, sometimes have um, canned beans on hand, but you'll see in a minute, I've got like lots of dried beans. And then this is just like random baby corn, artichoke hearts, mushrooms, a lot of tomato stuff like paste, sauce, diced. Um, this is this the um, olives and the artichoke hearts are for the Mediterranean chopped salad in the BLE book. I love that when I'm not freezing. Um, yeah, so just like random, more sauerkraut. <laughs> we like sauerkraut. There's more down below actually, because I need to organize my pantry. Um, yeah, okay, so next shelf. This is like our seasonings. Well, and we have like a bunch of sauerkraut in here too, but our like seasonings area. So there's the liquid smoke. Um, cooking wine, and then we've got some like lime and um, lemon juice. Uh, this is for baking, which don't really do much anymore. This is molasses. Um, and then uh, coconut manna. This is basically just coconut butter. It's just ground up coconut. <clears throat> uh, Cholula, because you need Cholula. Uh, capers, which are delicious. Sauerkraut. <laughs> Uh, dill spears, more dill spears, um, Vegemite because it's delicious on, um, toast. If you, um, do like Ezekiel toast in the morning, uh, Dijon mustard, balsamic glaze, oops, which has like no, that one has no added sugar, uh, more dill spears. This is the no sugar added ketchup. So there's that. Uh, this is, I we haven't even used this actually since I went, Oh, don't break. <laughs> uh, I haven't used this ginger actually since we went, um, BLE. So, oh, it's got sorbitol. So good thing. Yeah, it's got sugar. So I can't use that. So that'll be for my husband. <laughs> uh, oil for cooking. If I ever use it for cooking, uh, my better than bouillon. Um, this is like kind of the exception for when I cook. Um, I use sesame oil cause it's adds flavor. Um, I don't really use this cause this has sugar in it. The, um, the rice wine, I don't use that anymore when cooking. Um, a quick curry sauce. If I don't feel like making my own, my absolute favorite tahini sauce right now, <laughs> uh, red wine vinegar, coconut oil, which I haven't used in a while. Uh, white cooking wine, some more cooking wine. Here's some white balsamic vinegar. So it's just like random. Oh, this is from like a while ago. Oops. Um, some maple flavored syrup using monk fruit sweetener, uh, coconut vinegar. So lots of like vinegars back here, uh, seasoned rice vinegar, regular rice vinegar. <laughs> Uh, this I used the other day, sunflower uh, lecithin. This is an emulsifier. So I was trying to get um, some miso paste and butter to emulsify. I was using it in um, some mashed cauliflower to um, flavor it, to use it as my fat. And so I used a little bit of this to get it to emulsify. So that was kind of cool. I was like experimenting in the kitchen. Anyways, um, this is for my kids, their lunch. I use peanut butter and jelly for them. Um, oops, let's see, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and then Dijon mustard is an amazing salad dressing. Um, apple cider vinegar, also a good um, 
dressing, some more vinegar, lots of vinegars, lots and lots of vinegars. Let's see here. Um, there's some extra virgin olive oil. This is actually, so this is interesting. This is, is this the one? Oh, I don't think that's the one. Oh no, it is, but it says California Select. That's interesting. Um, but this is actually from um, Australia. I was reading an article online that said like, oh, the only, uh, or one of the only uh, guaranteed actual um, olive, olive oils um, is from Australia. And Walmart actually had um, a brand from Australia. And so I bought it. Um, and so that's what that is. Uh, vinegar, um, oops, extra virgin olive oil. That one's old though. I think it's um, rancid and I got to throw it out. Uh, sprouting seeds, because I love sprouts, especially in the summer. Uh, unsweet coconut. These are soy curls. If you saw my barbecue sauce video, this is what um, I used, soy curls. And then some more seeds, so like sunflower seeds, um, chia seeds. Uh, this is textured vegetable protein. It's not labeled, but I just know what it is. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds, um, cashew. Oh, that's what that empty jar was. I had this empty jar up there and I was wondering, what is that for? It's for my cashew, <laughs> my cashew nuts, which are right there. Um, and I do have like from an old, like I used to do keto. So I have these skinny noodles <laughs> that I got to get rid of. I got to give them to somebody. Um, and then just some napkins are back there. Okay. And then next shelf is all my beans. So these are all my dried beans and um, like my zero noodles and my kids pasta and stuff down there. So um, I pretty much have like every, like almost every grain and like every bean you could imagine down here. So I've got like brown rice. Um, I made my own wild rice blend just cause it was cheaper. So like I bought black rice and red rice, red rice. And, um, uh, the long, the long grain brown rice, the basmati rice. And then I just like, kind of like put it all together and it was a lot cheaper. Um, panko breadcrumbs for used to cook with those. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Couscous. Don't eat it anymore. Uh, quinoa. Uh, I've made matzo ball soup in the past. Um, polenta, that is definitely BLE friendly. What is this? Oh, these are uh, dried mushrooms, red bulgur, pearl barley. Uh, this is brown basmati, red lentils, which I also have a huge bag down below. Uh, black chickpeas or um, kalachana, which I have a huge, huge, this is like a half gallon. Or no, this is a gallon actually. Uh, black soybean, so it has more protein than regular soybean. Uh, white rice, <laughs> green slash brown lentils, uh, green split peas, lupini, where did it go? Lupini beans, <laughs> regular chickpeas. Um, I think this is, wait, is that more? I think this is more uh, basmati rice. Oh, I gotta combine those. Uh, black eyed peas. These are black beans. Like I've just got <laughs> sushi rice. I've got everything down here. Amaranth. Uh, these are great Northern, which I'm cooking right now in my instant pot. Uh, Pinto. Uh, these are the, one of the brands I like for the bean, um, spaghetti. So these are zero dual. I get them on Amazon. I could put a link below. Uh, and then I've just got, whoops, um, pasta for my kids and my husband down there whoops and then some like rice pasta for my husband and kids and then we have cat <laughs> my cat uh joined us apparently and oh i have this huge bag of oops this huge bag of wasabi powder <laughs> that we can mix we're never going to run out of wasabi um, and then there's just like a bunch of like, I have a bunch of extra flowers because I bake for my kids, a bunch of extra freeze dried strawberries, um, extra bags of lentils because we bought those at, um, our restaurant supply store. So there's the green lentils and then a bag of, oops, a bag of the red lentils. And then 
two different types of flour for bread baking. And then we also got this at our restaurant supply store. That is our, um, uh, our oats for our oatmeal in the morning. So that is it. That's the pantry. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I will do a freezer tour separately because this video is already really long. All right. I hope you enjoyed that tour of my super messy pantry. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and click one of the videos you see right here and I will see you next time.